What is up everybody? This is War Dirty Gaming and today I want to make a quick video on how to burn an image to basically any storage device that you pick. As we all know the Pi 4 now has USB boot mode but please keep in mind the build that you burn onto the Pi 4 must be USB ready and on top of that the Pi must be EEPROM updated as well so you can boot off of a USB device. But with that said guys the programs I personally use to do this are Mini Tool Partition Wizard and Etcher. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do things. So if you want to follow along, these programs will be in the description below. But don't forget to also download an image that's USB ready. And again, the Pi is EEPROM updated. So let's jump into it. First things first is we're going to open up the, the Mini Tool Partition Wizard and plug in your device. So for me, I'm plugging in an SSD that I want to use for the image. Give it a second to load up and you should be greeted with something like this. If you see more than one drive, that is perfectly okay. Just make sure you're selecting the right drive that you want to format because you'll lose all your principal information. So you might be seeing something like this and that's awesome. But if you see more than one partition under that one drive, you're just going to simply right click it, delete and follow along to those partitions as well for the same drive and then once the capacity and unused space are very similar you're just going to right click create and change the file system to FAT32 and press OK and then apply. Once that's done awesome but if you're not seeing a drive letter that is perfectly okay you can do that in here as well you can right click change letter change it to whatever letter you want and then I'll press OK and then apply and then press yes once again and that is all with this program so now that we have the drive formatted to FAT32 and uh, the correct letter assigned we're going to open up Etcher again the programs I'm using are basically just my preference as it just things I've been using all along when I'm making a base image so now we're going to select an image for me it's Supreme Ultra version 1 on the desktop and again, this image is USB boot ready. And then select the device, which is um, the drive that we just formatted in the mini tool partition wizard. So make the, making sure that those are matching. Because again, this tool is also gonna erase things that are on the drive. So click continue and then flash. You may be greeted with this message and that is okay. It's just saying that the drive is unusually large. Just click continue and then click yes if a notification pops up and that is all guys it is that easy so you may notice as well because i'm using an ssd writing an image to an ssd the speeds increase and this is awesome so if you're using a usb 3.0 usb stick or a hard disk you're going to notice a speed increase because the micro SD card has basically a read and write limit and SSDs and hard disks and so forth have a little bit of higher read and write speeds. So you're going to see the difference when writing an image. For myself, I personally like writing to SSDs as it's just so much more faster and um, the boot times are also increased as well and uh, performance is a lot better believe it or not <laughs> but that's all guys i appreciate you guys watching i hope i could have helped someone out with this video um, please comment subscribe and uh, leave a thumbs up peace out guys see you in the next one